you guys. Welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Today we are going to look at something that I've been waiting for a while now uh, and it has to do with my previous installments of the Battle of the Top Coats. I'm gonna link that up here um, and like in pretty much all of the uh, Battle of the Top Coats that I've done this one, the Yaquinan one, came out the winner. It works on stamping. It doesn't much stamping. Um, it works on foils which is amazing. It works on chrome powders which is also amazing it doesn't eat those two up and um, stays shiny that is very nice it has a pleasant smell it comes in these nice 18 milliliter square bottles that are just plain amazing um, yes and it's no longer available <laughs> that is an issue um, a lot of people have like a lot like some people have been asking me where to get these and I just used to be able to send them a link either to the Born Pretty store uh, website or AliExpress where I used to be able to get these but lo and behold this is no longer available. Yaquin An is a brand that is being sold at um, Born Pretty store. You can still get the stamping polishes that come in these same bottles. I've also got a video on that linked up there hopefully if I don't forget. Um, those are also fine uh, and work amazing but this top coat is no longer available on the Born Pretty store site and it's no longer anywhere to be found on AliExpress. I was at a loss. I kept searching and kept returning to the page for a while because people kept asking me where they would be able to get this. Um, yeah, but it's no longer there. That's a pity. Um, but I thought to myself there has to be an alternative because the other um, really good um, top coat for stamping that I like to work with is Sesh Vite. And I know that a lot of people don't enjoy Sesh Vite because it has a very strong smell um, and it's a bitty bit a bitty bit it's a bitty bit <laughs> it's a bit on the pricey side too and this one is like really affordable given that you get like or used to be really affordable given the fact that you get like 18 milliliters in here so this is a bottle that I've been using for a while now I don't know if I will be able to show you on camera but part of it is missing I have one extra bottle like a full bottle still left um, but that's it then I'm out too then I'm like back to square one. But um, while I was on Born Pretty Store website, I came across this little boy. Boy, guy. <laughs> we don't know if this is a male polish or a female polish and I'm not here to judge about that. Um, anyway, I came across this one and funnily enough, I've, I've told that to a few people now, Born Pretty is advertising this thing here, this top coat, for all the things that I've just mentioned that I discovered that this polish does. Meaning they advertise it as a no smudge stamping top coat but they also advertise that it works with foils and chrome powders and pretty much everything else that there is out there in the world that normal top coats eat up. And I thought to myself, someone at Born Pretty Store must have been watching my videos because I did like upload a review to this uh, polish um, on Born Pretty Store website which you can no longer, you know, you can't find the product, so you can't find my review there, but it's still on my channel. Um, yeah, and I thought to myself, someone must have been, you know, um, watching my videos. And I think what Born Pretty Store did is just they discontinued these big bottles um, and come out with these smaller versions that are only 10 milliliters. I'm going to put prices for both uh, up on screen so you can see the per milliliter price. Yes, I'm a weirdo like that. But this one is more expensive given that you only get 10 milliliters, um, but it is advertised to do the same thing that this one does. Um, so I was curious and I was like, well, I gotta get me some and like I usually do, I go on AliExpress and get it somewhere cheaper uh, than from the Born Pretty Store website. Um, yeah, so let's check this out. I have prepared a little test battery, by the way, I just did that really absent-mindedly. Um, this one comes with a professional cap, meaning that you don't have to deal with this humongous uh, cap while you're applying it. And you may have also noticed that I've put little colored dots on the tops of these. Uh, green for the Born Pretty Store one and orange for my old trusty Yaquin On polish. Um, yeah, and I've prepared a few tests or I've prepared like three swatch sticks in the corresponding colors per per top coat and we're gonna give them like a good test uh, like I did in sort of like I did in my battle of the top coats someone commented that uh, my test wasn't really fair because I had left the stamping to dry but guys that does not make a difference if a top coat is going to smudge your stamping it's going to smudge your stamping 
no matter how long you have let that dry on your nails, it doesn't make a difference. Um, that's my experience and why would it not? Because if there's something in the top coat that dissolves polish, it will dissolve the polish no matter how dry it is. Just saying. Anywho, we are going to test this uh, first as a regular top coat and I am going to find my phone and uh, set like a timer to see how long these take to dry. Um, and then afterwards we're going to do like two stamping tests where one of them I'm going to try my best to float the brush and then we're going to do one with painting it on with reckless abandon because that's just you know how you would normally apply your top coat i it's like for me it's too much of a hassle to be like really careful and have a big bead of product just to be really careful uh you know not to smudge or budge anything i just like to paint it on like top coat not like extra careful. By the way, I also have, well, there's a lot of by the ways in this video, I have another round of the best stamping top coats planned. I just need to get all of the products that I've been recommended and that people, you know, t told me about that there are. Um, I just need to gather all of them up and then we're going to do another round, probably with this little dude in it. But today we're just going to compare these two. Um, for stamping, I have prepared, I have prepared, I got me a creative shop plate. That was coincidentally still lying on my desk. We swatched this one uh, not long back. And I'm going to take this image here because it both has like thicker lines and thinner lines on it. And I thought that would be a good test. Um, or maybe I will take this one even because um, that way we will have like thicker, um, thicker parts of the image on top. And then um, as it goes down, there's like thinner lines. So we can test both of that, um, you know, as per smudging. Okay, for stamping I'm going to be using my Back From The Dead <laughs> Nicole Diary stamping polish. I actually finally managed to buy like a bottle of a uh, nail polish thinner and it worked its magic on this one and it, it works again. I've been swatching with these you know for the last couple of videos that I've done. Um, so it works again but we're going to keep it consistent and use the same stamping polish across all of these swatches. First thing I wanted to do is, because this one has a very specific smell. It smells almost like fruity, citrusy, weird thing to say about a top coat, because normally they smell appalling, but this one does actually smell pretty nice. I'm going to give it a good sniffy snooze so I remember exactly what it smells like. <sighs> It's weird to say, but I really like that smell, because it's not like a polished smell. So let's smell this one. It, they smell almost exactly the same. This one, the one pretty sore one, has more of an alcoholic aftertaste even. You know, like when you smell pure alcohol, and you, you know, when it wafts towards you, that is this like pungent after smell that you get. But other than that, they almost smell exactly the same. Ha! That's very, very promising. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set up for the swatches and zoom you guys in so we can all have a closer look. First up, we're gonna just test them as regular top coats. I chose a matte polish for the green so we could really see how glossy this one gets or like the polish gets. And then naturally all polishes will dry kind of dull on a swatch stick. Um, so I've chosen you know, this orange just to tell them easily apart. So I'm gonna set up and be right back. Alrighty, we are nice and zoomed in. Um, we're gonna start with the original Yaquin on top coat. I have my <laughs> phone here. It's hard to get it under the viewfinder because I'm zoomed in that far. I've got like a little stopwatch here and once I'm done painting, I'm gonna start it and then see when I'll be able to touch this. So let's give it a little bit of a shake and then just paint it on like you do with a top coat. It's pretty easy because the brush is nice and wide and I'm just trying to get all the edges and uh, here we go. Alrighty, so it is just about at the two and a half minute mark. I have uh, touched it like at the one minute mark and I made a little dent and it wasn't completely dry yet. Um, Let's see how it is now. Um, How am I gonna do that so that the camera actually focuses on this. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Now it's still a little bit sticky, but we're gonna call it. It's like two minutes, 52 seconds, so almost three minutes for this one to dry. I'm gonna put it over here. And then we're gonna move on to the contender 
the Born Pretty Store one. I'm going to put the cap next to it so that we know that this is the one that goes over the green. It has the same formula, it, meaning that it is a little more liquidy than a regular, you know, one of those quick dry top coats like HK Girl or Seshvit are. Um, and so there's this one from Born Pretty Store, and it wow, it is whew, a lot more fragrant, but not in a not in a bad way. Okay, I have started my little timer, and I will check back in at the two minute and something mark. Okay, it has been two minutes and seven seconds. I shall touch this now and see if it's dry. Ooh, yup, it's almost completely dry. So it did dry a little quicker than the other one did. Um, let's try and compare the um, shininess. Is, is that a term? Is that like a nail polish term? Yeah, come here. Okay, so this is the first swatch stick. You can recognize it by the little dent I made when I touched it at the one minute mark. They are both pretty shiny, but there was always a little bit of, you know, lackluster shine for me in the Yaqueen on top coat, so that I would, when I, I used it in Manny's, I would use it as a barrier over my stamping, and then put, um, like a real glossy top coat, um, on top, like HK Girl or, you know, Sashvit or something, um, to really gloss it up if I wanted it glossy, but these are pretty shiny, they're, they're okay. Not extremely shiny, but still pretty glossy, right? Okay, so I have zoomed you out farther so that I have enough room to swipe and scrape and uh, stamp this image on here. Uh, we're gonna start with the, you know, the reigning champion, the Yaquin on top coat. Like I said, I'm gonna be using Nicole Diary Black. If it unscrews, holy hell. Um, and I have a scraper and my stamper over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp and then I'm going to right away do like the floating technique and I'm going to zoom you in for that. I'm going to try to get as much of the image on here as I humanly possibly can. There it is. Move out of the way because we're going to zoom in. And I'm gonna do my best at floating the brush. There, ooh, that was a big beat. There. Did that look like floating to you guys? It did to me, because there's like a huge amount of polish or top coat on here now. Sorry that I went off camera there for a bit. Okay, so next up. We're going to do the same, but we're not going to float the brush. I'm going to stamp the image one more time. Zoom you out for that. All right, so here's our last remaining swatch stick. I'm going to stamp the image again, and then I'm going to paint on my Aquin Anne with reckless abandon, not floating the brush at all. <laughs> There's our image. I'm going to zoom you in again. There we go. And here's the Yaquin on top coat. And this time I'm just gonna paint it on. Oops, don't go off camera. There we go. That is pretty decent, isn't it? There's a little bit of image distortion on this side but I think that was there before we started stamping. So that is that. I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna start with the Born Pretty Store one. All right, I have zoomed you out again. Um, and this time we're gonna do the same thing all over. I'm gonna stamp and then I'm gonna use this and float the brush. Doing my best to fold the brush. Mm -hmm. There's the image, a little crooked, and we're missing a little bit, but you know, can't be perfect every time. So I'm gonna zoom you in. 
Here's our little Born Pretty store. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take a generous amount. I've successfully floated, I do think, and nothing has smudged so far. That's good. So I'm going to clean up and do the whole thing over, and this time we're going to paint um, the polish uh, or the top coat on. Okay, the same thing. Okay, stamping. <laughs> Placement could be better, but we're not judging, right? Okay, I am going to zoom you in once more. And here's our Born Pretty store. Top coat. Wish us luck. I hope that this smells <laughs> not so much. Okay, I'm just going to paint it on. Woohoo, it's working! I'm so happy. I can now recommend this to you guys. There, I've touched the image with the brush like a bunch of times. Nothing has happened. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna clean up. I'm especially gonna clean up my hands. Um, and then I'm gonna meet you back for the final verdict. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. So, what have we learned here today, class? Um, we have learned that this Born Pretty Story top coat does what it says it, it'll do. I mean, I'm gonna test it out on chrome powders and on foils probably at another time. I didn't want to do that, you know, um, right now because for me, the main um, thing that I, I love this one so much is that it's like foolproof and smudge proof. You can just slap it on your stamping and don't have to worry about a thing. I have not come across a stamping polish that this one does not work with. I've had like two from the Yakina Queen Anne line, funnily enough, um, that changed color a bit with this on top. Um, and one of them, I think it's the red metallic one, actually smudges a tad with this one. But other than that, I have tested this with like all kinds of brands of stamping polish and it didn't smudge. So I'm happy to say that this Born Pretty Store one apparently does the same thing like this one. Like I said, it seems to be the same product. They smell the same. They have the same viscosity, you know. They are pretty much the same formula. A, a bit more runny, watery like a um, normal glossy top coat would be. Top coat would be. They aren't as glossy as a normal top coat is. But that's not really an issue because I just really use them to seal in my stamping and then I can put you know, whatever other top coat I want on top because it's protected by a layer of this no smudge top coat. I am happy. It's a bummer that these are only 10 milliliters. It's just, uh, in my opinion, it's just Born Pretty Store rebranding the whole Yaquin An thing under their own main brand um, and putting it into smaller bottles to make a little bit more of a, you know, of a profit, I guess. That's not a bad thing to do. That's just how businesses are run. Um, and sometimes, you know, one brand goes out of the market and another one uh, replaces it. So this is a replacement for this one for sure. Um, I'm going to put, like I said, prices of these and comparisons on screen one more time right now. Um, so we can look at that again. Um, I mean, you could buy these on Born Pretty Store, like, in bulk, <laughs> so you have a few. Uh, that's what I'm going to do, you know, because I don't want to run out of this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have, like, one and a half bottles of Yaquinan, and I now have this, and I also have a couple of bottles of Sashweet, so I probably don't need to run out and buy more of this. But just know that you can buy this. It's been tested. It's been approved by me <laughs> uh, and my you know, method of painting it on like a mad woman and not floating my brush. It did not smudge any of the stamping. Yes, it dries down a little bit dull or not like glossy, glossy. It's, you know what I mean, right? It's not ultra glossy. Um, and you do want to put like either another coat of this or another top coat on top, but it doesn't smudge stamping. That's the most important thing. I'm gonna um, test out 
the foil and chrome powder thing for this polish in another future video because I don't have time to do that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was my little comparison, test and review of these um, two stamp the, the stamping top coats. Yeah, that's what you're going to call them. Um, I can highly recommend this one because that one is no longer available. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and maybe you know of another top coat that I should give a go in my battle of the top coats um, that you've had experience with that you use for your stamping um, and that you're you know able to get smudge free results with. Let me know down below. Okay, that's it for today you guys. I love you guys very much and I will talk to you next time. Bye!